one of the growing realizations as I'm listening to my brother bishops is that church teaching has to be rediscovered not as a set of rules but as a true good news, a good news that frees people. Uh, God's plan for marriage is not a structure in which people have to bind themselves in order to somehow gain God's love. God's plan for marriage is a gift of God's love for us. We have, I think, a lot of work to do, not just the bishops, but I think married couples, faithful married couples, we have a lot of work to do to find out ways of expressing that. Why is faithfulness a gift? Why is uh, fruitfulness in marriage a gift? Why is fidelity to one's partner a gift? Why is reconciliation a gift? In which ways do, do each of these aspects of church, church teaching become a way of life for people? And so when you look at it that way, then the tension between um, teaching and uh, pastoral care disappears because we discover that the teaching itself is a form of pastoral care. Mm -hmm.